And it all started with the junior out of Oregon, Adley Rutschman. Rutschman two for three last night, knocked in three of Oregon State's seven runs on a six game hitting streak right now for the Beavers. And he had some help as Oregon State's pitching was pretty. Right, anybody. I mean, this young man, I call him the Andrew Luck of college baseball. Why do I say that? You guys remember when Andrew Luck was up at Stanford, he was a can't miss prospect as a quarterback. And Andrew Luck has been that in the NFL. And this is what I believe Adley Rutschman is in college baseball. I mean, he sits a sensational baseball player, a super young man. And Gary belted the home run in the seventh inning last night. So Bergen on the mound for UCLA takes care of Meckler with his first punch out. And then McGarry with a home run. And now here's Adley Rutschman, the dangerous Rutschman. Well, <laughs> so just sit back and watch. You want to watch a, a complete baseball player and arguably the best hitter in the entire country? Just watch this man hit. First team All American in his junior season, batting 423. Yeah, he's hitting over 500 with runners in scoring position. And the longer this season goes, the deeper we get in Pac-10, Pac-12 play, uh, the less opportunities opposition is going to give him to hit. And what I mean by that, if you're facing Rutschman, and there will be situations where there will be runners at first and second, and I'll guarantee you, uh, a, a manager is going to put him on to load the bases. That's how good he is. Well, why is Bergen even pitching to Rutschman? Well, he's pitching outside. Is he trying to get something that he'll nibble on? Well, yeah, that's exactly what he's trying to do. I mean, it's three and one right now. The listen, the one thing the pitchers do and know, they know who they're going to face that day, and everybody knows who Rutschman is. He's a guy with a 608 on base percentage, 22 hits on the season. He has walked 26 times. Three and one. And there's a strike from Bergen. So you got to remember something. The, the Beavers came in to this series hitting about 260 as a team. Rutschman's hitting well over 400. So you just put the numbers together and you understand her in the on the Beavers lineup. Payoff pitch, one out. Fly ball, center field, Matt McLean on his horse, back near the wall, has the distance, see you later. Touch them all. That ball left the ballpark, back-to-back -back home runs for Oregon State. It's Rutschman's seventh of the season. I mean, listen, how many more superlatives can I talk about this young man and say? Folks, this is dead central field in Westwood. Yes, it's a, it's 80 degrees today, but you're hard-pressed to find balls that go this far at this yard over the monster. And it's just you just leave it there. But like you were talking about, Teddy, that's why. That's why in a lineup that is hitting 260 as a team, not to take anything away. And again, it's one of Ryan's best pitches, and he went back-to-back -back change ups after being behind in the count 2-1, and one, but it doesn't get any easier right now. Base is loaded, and here comes Rutschman. First strikeout for Ryan Garcia coming in for Jesse Bergen. Base is still loaded for the Beavers. You know, Mendezona on third, Casey on second, Meckler on first, and here's Rutschman. But again, this is a matchup. We talked about, you mentioned that Ryan Garcia, the 12th-ranked prospect by MLB Baseball. Rutschman, the number one, right? Yeah, Rutschman, he had that back-to-back -back home run, followed by McGarry. He said, you can do that. Well, check this over the wall in center field. And it's the first ball I've ever seen go over that monster in center. But this is a matchup scouts want to see. Ryan Garcia, the 12th best prospect in the Pac-12. Rutschman, best prospect arguably in the entire Major League draft. So scouts love this kind of matchup right here because they get a, a kind of a, a feel what you're looking at. Now, is there any benefit for Garcia to just walk Rutschman and give up the run? No. Behind in the count. 0-2. Oh, Strike three. Garcia. Hey, 
Rutschman as well. One for two with that home run and the strikeout. Now with the runner on first, one out. During the College World Series, Rutschman broke the College World Series record. I think he had a couple words there, partner. Well, catchers, I tell you what, catchers have a relationship with home plate umpires, obviously. But um, you got to be careful how, how they talk to them. Because they need those same pitches. I mean, a lot of, Well, yeah, everybody knows that when Andrew Luck was at Stanford, what did everybody say about him? They said he's a what? He's the best prospect quarterback. 135 RBIs. Seventh all time and walks with 105. Get a look at six home runs. You see the 788, but what we don't see there is he's hitting over five bills with runners in scoring position. And if Rutschman wasn't a catcher, that he'd still be good. His changeup's tremendous. Three balls and a strike. Fly ball deep to right field. Shot from Adley Rutschman, his second of the game. Just watch joy what one of the best we have seen in decades can do. Folks, this ball is up and out of the zone. I want you to take a look at where this pitch is and what he did with it. Watch where this pitch is. And, and, and look at Mike Murray behind the dish. He's like, well, we're tied. And yes, two home runs today. Well, that's pretty good. Came in in this game batting 423. And his first at bat, home run, struck out, two run shot. Now his fourth time up. There's going to come a time start to you can see how important they are that coaches just stop pitching to him. Um, his numbers from an RBI standpoint probably won't be as good as they were last year because he is such a dangerous hitter that come late in the season in May. Coaches are not going to let him beat him. I mean, what he has done today, and folks, I, I've been doing a lot of games here at UCLA, and I have never seen a ball go where this ball went. And then, of course, he just rockets one down the line for his second home run of the game. What is it in his swing that you see specifically that makes him so good? It's not so much his swing. It's just who he is. I mean, he, he is a student of the game. You heard his head coach, Pat Bailey, and there's a bot called. So it'll send Meckler in a scoring position with two outs. But um, it, it, it's just who he is. I mean, you'd have to talk to this young man. I, I remember talking to Pat Casey about Adley Rutschman as a freshman when Pat Casey had put him behind the mound. And the Beavers had one of the best staffs in the entire country. And I said, do you worry about putting this young freshman behind the dish? And I never forget Pat Casey came to me and he said, Normally, I would, but not with him. He is special, and he is different. And those are the intangibles that this young man has. Facing a ball and a strike from the redshirt senior, Hadley. Hadley with a hard look. Look at the side from McInerney, runner on second, two away. And he'll deliver at the shins, two and one. Again, Steve Chilcott have no clue who he is. I wasn't even born then. Mike Ivey, eh, I was about, uh, I don't know how old at that point in time. Danny Goodwin, and of course, B.J. Surhoff and Joe Maurer, who recently retired. And then, of course, everybody's projected number one. And great change up to Rutschman there. And here's the situation. can afford to, to not come to give in to Rutschman here with first base open. And it's not that it's taking anything away from Phillip behind him and, and Fuchs, but Rutschman can cut this lead in half with one swing. Rutschman has only struck out 10 times this season. 2-2. Two, two. Uh, gets a piece. 
Rutschman settles in. Hadley deals 2 2 foul straight back. Oof. That's a mistake right there. Where? Everybody has got their eyes on this man when he hits on both dugouts. Line drive in a center field from Adley Rutschman. Rounding third now is Meckler, and he will score. <laughs> and Rutschman keeps on producing. What more can you say? Just watch and enjoy, folks. Three for four today. Two home runs in a single. One of those home runs, a two-run shot. Ends an RBI single to the list today. But enjoy it now, like I say, folks, because as the season goes on, opposing skippers are going to say, you know what, sorry. but I'm And you pitched to Rutschman. They must have heard me, see? And now he's deep. Not sure I'd be that close to the line. Rutschman three for four today. Start the afternoon, and then a two-run shot in the fifth inning. RBI single was last at bat, scoring Meckler. Just the best game in the world, isn't it? I mean, it, it it really is. When you think about all the things that are going on here, you got Holden Powell on the mound. He's a sophomore. He's got a great arm, and he's had great success. But a lot of the things that these kids are thinking about are not what skippers are thinking about and what managers are thinking about. Managers are thinking about, we got a three-run lead. Even if Rutschman hits a home run here, we still have a one-run one, one run lead. But they're not thinking that way. They're trying to not give in to Rutschman right here. And giving in would be to walk him yeah. or to pitch to him. Phillip, who's due up next. 1-1. One, one. Breaking ball. Nice drop on that from Powell. Well, the majority of the offense has come from McGarry and Rutschman. Pops this up into the stands. Souvenir. And next to our camera guy. Well, he just missed as the best in the business. One, two to Rutsch. Fouls this one away again. As a do you think he has a better read on pitches? No. No. No, because I will tell you. the outside corner better hitters will get more respect when it comes to borderline pitches that they take McGarry on first started the inning off with a walk Powell goes same location misses both times three and two house ground ball left side sharply hit past Kreidler the left field <laughs> Rutschman four for five today. Well, I, I tell you what, there's so many intangibles we've talked about Rutschman. Now keep in mind, this is a guy who's hit a ball over the monster, and he's hit a ball, a rocket to right field. He understands the game. We heard his head coach, Pat Bailey, talk about the intangibles. He's a good kid. He's a student of baseball. He understood that all he was trying to do there is get on base with two strikes, and that's what he does. Still looking for his first hit this afternoon. A one. Right up the middle, little hopper going to the bag in time and the throw over. Not there on either. Take a look at this. It's a ball hit right up the middle. It's a chopper and he doesn't He's beat him. There. It's just in no man's. I mean, you got to make a decision right off the bat. Right there, are you going